hey guys welcome back to my channel I'm going to be doing today some of my favorite products I'm using this last year and I'm sure I'll be using in 2020 as well I'm gonna start off with kind of like skin care and then go into makeup and just other things that I've been enjoying okay I'm gonna start off with makeup wipes I did not used to use makeup wipes I used to use um, you know like ponds which I still love my ponds don't get me wrong I'll still use my ponds to take off my eye makeup but I, I've been loving these and, and they're Equate brand I mean I only paid for like five dollars and something for two packages of these and I go through them quite a bit so I paid like five dollars and something for a two pack of how many is in here of 40 at Walmart and so I do enjoy those I just take my makeup off you know I just use them and take my makeup off and I, they do burn my eyes however so I have to try to keep them away from my eyes so I do go in and use my Pond's cold cream and whatever makeup I might still have on my face to get rid of that now the body I've been using this it's, not, it's gone so I will try to repurchase this it's a soft soap pink peony peony and sea salt and it's exfoliating body body wash and it looks like this but it's all gone as you can see I think I make it you get one more wash out of it and it smells great and it exfoliates the skin awesome and it doesn't leave my skin dry itching anything like that it just it just exfoliates the skin and it smells lovely and then as some of you guys know if you've been on my channel for a while and Ellen you know um, it's this Dove I love the smell of Dove I love the smell of this body cream it's the just says Dove beauty cream looks like this I think you can get it at some of your Dollar Trees for a dollar it smells fabulous clean everything Dove that you ever remember as being good this is good I almost spilled it right out of the thing <gasps> I'm just gonna put it back in there because I don't want to waste any of it it smells good it makes your skin soft right after I shave my legs or even if I don't shave my legs and I just get out of the bath or the shower I'll put this all over my skin all over my feet it just smells lovely next thing is skincare now this company reached out to me and I was like okay another another skincare company and I was hesitant to do it I've done other I've tried other skincare in the past and it didn't really make a difference in my skin I've only reviewed skincare products to you guys a few times and I tried it I, I went on their website and what you can do is you can curate what you need in your skin cream or your eye cream or whatever you want the name of the company is mix easy and boy it was easy I went on the website I filled out a short little survey and I put down what I wanted under each because they they told me I could pick the face scrub and the eye cream and then the face cream now I picked it out and under each individual one they ask what well, your skin type is oily normal dry combination and then you could just pick what ingredients you wanted or needed in this specific product so I start off with the mix easy face cream and it's actually kind of like a, a scrub a little bit of grit to it not a lot like I said before you get to pick the ingredients that you need for your face in all of these products so with the face scrub I picked our oily skin key ingredients in mine is evening primrose extract dragon's blood extract and apple fruit extract now when you go online they will tell you what exactly these key ingredients do so obviously the ingredients I chose was anti-aging so it does have like I said have some grit to it but it absolutely makes your face feel clean refreshed 
which in turn makes your makeup go on so much easier and you even look good without makeup. I rinse the face cream off and then I use this Mix Easy eye cream. This eye cream is fragrance free. I picked that. The key ingredients is apple fruit extract and hyaluronic acid. Hyaluronic acid gives you the plumping effect that you want for your wrinkles and under eye bags. So I just use my ring finger and it only takes a little bit. Generally I pump out one pump and it's enough for both eyes. And I can definitely tell when I put this on that it, there is a, a cooling effect and also a tightening effect. So now once I've done the eye cream, then I go on to the face cream. The face cream is for oily skin. You can pick oily, dry, normal, whatever skin you have combination. It's the black currant smell. I didn't know what black currant was. I just thought I would try a different scent. Key ingredients, evening primrose extract, apple fruit extract, and hyaluronic acid. So I'm just going to go ahead and put, I generally just put, you know, one pump there, use whatever I have left, pump there, you know, whatever you feel like you need, as much as you feel like you need, and I put some on my neck as well. You can, this has a very light scent. It smells a little bit like a fruity scent, but it's very, very light. This does not make your skin oily. So I will do this routine. The skin scrub, I will do it like twice, three times a week. And then the eye cream I do every night and then the face cream I do every morning and every night. We're ready for our makeup. So I pick like hyaluronic acid and apple extract and, and things that are supposed to be fabulous for anti-aging skin. So these are awesome. Next thing I have to talk about is this St. Tropica vitamins. These hair vitamins, y'all, I mean, I know a lot of people say, no, they don't make your hair grow, but in my experience, and they do, it, it claims to give you longer, stronger, and thicker hair, and that's exactly what I feel like I got. I, I don't take them now anymore, but I did take them religiously every day for two months, and they are at least three inches in two months. I did take them for two months, but it at least three I got th over three inches but hey that's just me it definitely does make a difference on your hair growth your hair strength how your hair looks how thick it is it's just lovely and also guys I want to talk about these ColourPop eyeliner pencils they're gel eyeliner pencils it's for the waterline I guess you could use them in other places than on the eye too but I only use them for the waterline but like I said, they're by ColourPop. They're the cream gel eyeliners. And these are awesome. Okay, my next favorite products I've been using this year is these two eyeliners by ColourPop. I usually use black, but I'm finding that I like the black eye eyeliner better at nighttime. So at nighttime, the black eyeliner I use is from NYX and it's the professional makeup and it just is like a you know pencil that you sharpen I just find these are easier to use they stay on longer versus the liquid type this one is in the color overboard and it's kind of a coppery color very pretty for some of the looks that I use that's what that color looks like and the one I'm going to be putting on my eyes today 
is the color rest rolls up I don't think there's a lot of product in these Levi but they do go on your waterline very easily and they do stay for a decent amount of time This is for more of a daytime look than a nighttime look. I love these. This eyeshadow palette is Marvelous Moths. I got it in my Boxy Charm a couple of months ago. It's by Dose of Colors. It has beautiful, beautiful mauve colors in it. You have your light colors. You have your goes from light all the way to dark. The dark is not really that dark but it just blends well. It's beautiful. It's what I have on my eyes today. It's just a beautiful palette. I generally go in with this light pink right here. I guess you could call it a rose color instead of a pink color. And set down that color. I go in with this light pink, same brush. I just dab into it a little bit. It does have a lot of pretty good bit of fallout, but then I just will put this lighter color on my lid. Maybe you need to do it the different way, the lid first and then the crease, but to me it all works out the same. I'll go in with a little bit darker color right here. It's called Wine Stain. I will go right here on the end of my crease and just kind of do the, you know, the L shape. We have a little bit there and a little bit there, and then you just blend it. And I will get my bigger brush and make sure that it's blended and there's no, you know, really harsh lines. Lip liner, this is by Jonte Blue. It's in the color Dark Natural looks like this. I didn't used to use lip liners, but now I do to keep it from bleeding onto my skin. It's pretty, very pretty. Not expensive either. And next, I'm going to take my favorite makeup wipes and remove whatever foundation I have on my lips. And what I do is start off on the bottom I'll go a little bit below my lip line in the center and then above my lip line on the top all on my lip line right there I'll also fill in my lips with the lip liner. Now this lip liner is very dry, so what I've been loving lately for lip gloss, I will go in on top of this lip liner with this Luna by Luna lip gloss, and I will just put a thin layer on it. My newfound friend is this by NYX, it's eyebrow pencil and it works, it works beautifully to me. You can see I have no eyebrows by NYX and it's a professional makeup micro brow pencil in the color taupe. That is what it looks like. Comes with a spoolie of course. And then it comes with, you roll it up, and it has a very tiny 
tip to it which makes for easy application now what I do is I just go in from where I want it to be and then just you know make little strokes of eyebrow hairs my eyebrows will not grow I don't care what I do I, I do have to pluck them however still because I get some really thick gray ones and they just stick straight out and so I just prefer to go in with a blank canvas now they're not always going to look good or perfect or anything like that I get very frustrated with my eyebrows but you know it is what it is as long as I can paint some on shows a little darker there but as long as I can paint some on and don't feel like I'm just have no eyebrows at all then I'm okay with that you can shape them any way you want to one day I may look angry the next day I may look happy the next day I may look sad you don't never know there's this Merle Norman contouring I do not use the powder that's in here or highlighter as they call it but I do use this contouring just for you know under my cheeks and to contour Just try to add some color and definition to my face. That highlighter though, this highlighter, it's in the color Cotton Candy. It's by Steve Laurent and it's a jelly highlighter. It's like this and it's so, so pretty. Next thing that I use sometimes, not all the time, is this highlighter by Steve Laurent and it is actually in the well it's in the color cotton candy it looks like this it just it's, it's not a powder it's more of a cream that's the word I'm looking for cream so what I do is I just put this on my finger and I will just tap right above my blush generally during the day not every day do I wear this but only sometimes but I do like the way that it looks it's subtle might not look subtle right now but it, it is subtle it's a very subtle highlight and again this is by Steve Laurent and it's the jelly highlighter I didn't used to use um, setting spray but it, since this is only a few dollars from the Dollar General, it's the Believe, I Believe Beauty. I did buy this and it's, it's good. I mean, it's good. It's a setting spray. I think it does help mattify your makeup and keep it more natural looking. Maybe it lasts longer. Maybe it don't. I don't know. Now, before I put on any mascara, lipstick, or anything like that, I will put on this Believe Beauty. I got this at Dollar General. It's the Makeup Perfecting Setting Spray. Now, whether setting sprays do any good or not, I don't know for sure. I think they do. Make sure makeup stay on a little bit longer. I don't put a tremendous amount on there. I just put a little bit on there. And to me, this, I've had other setting sprays that are more expensive, but to me, this works just as well. Let me know your favorite setting spray. Mascara. I've been using this Big Ego by Tarte. I got this in one of my Boxy Charms as well. I didn't like it at first because it was really, really wet feeling. And every time I would apply it, it would go everywhere. And I would blink and it would go up on my eyes or down below my eyes. But the longer I've had it, the more I've been enjoying it. It has the big applicator. So I'm not going to put on a full two or three coats because my eyelashes would just be too long. Luckily my eyelashes haven't fallen out like my eyebrows have. I don't know why that hair vitamin's not made my eyebrows grow, but it certainly has made my eyelashes grow. I've always had long eyelashes, but since I've been taking those vitamins, 
they made them grow a lot. I'm just going to put a little bit on the lower lash line. I have to be careful. My eyelashes will look like spiders if I don't. Okay, guys, I hope I covered everything. I'm going to link everything you've seen today down in my description box. I will be linking everything. If I can find everything, I will link it. Some of these things are older, but I will still try to do my best to link them. I will be linking the St. Tropical Vitamins. And I will be linking the Mix Easy, all the Mix Easy products. So if you want to go to their site, you can just see what it's all about. They let you curate what, what you need in your skincare. And so I've been loving it lately. I really have. I think it's been doing a fabulous job on my skin. Like I said, I've been using it for about two weeks. I don't think I noticed a difference at all for the first week i think i'm just now noticing a difference and i hope i continue to see a difference but my skin is very healthy looking it you know obviously i'm still going to have wrinkles there's no you know there's nothing that's really going to get rid of your wrinkles except maybe surgery but you know a lot of skincare has hyaluronic acid in it that i'm using and so it does plump up your wrinkles and so they don't look as deep as they may be but anyway guys i think that's all and i'm going to let you guys go and i hope you're having a wonderful sunday praying for those that are in australia from the fires y'all please be safe i know that i have subscribers over there and if you see this video please know that i'm thinking about you i'm praying for you guys and y'all please be safe and hopefully you get lots and lots and lots of rain soon but for all the wildlife loss for all the the families lost for all the property that's lost my heart goes out to you guys and please know i'm praying for you anyway i'm gonna let you guys go and i will see y'all in tomorrow's video bye guys